it's uh, fine being audio recorded. Yeah, right? no issues, buddy. All right. So, can you answer this? Would I give up pizza if uh, if that could stop a rape, even if even if it's with a single rape? Yeah, yeah definitely. And why so? Because if there's one item I could give up for all my life, even if that contributed to some some improvement in the system, I would definitely do that, man. But why so? Why would you want to stop rape from? Why would I not? All right, I will phrase it in another yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Rape is immoral. We both agree, right? Right. Why is it immoral? Because it's the basis of it is that it's non-consensual in the yes. first place. Yes. That leads to a lot of trauma in one's life. That leads to. So trauma gets you to do so many things, right? It leads to so many changes in one's yeah. life. The worst thing is the worst thing that happens is death. Actually, that's not even the worst thing that can happen. If you just live silently, become a different person, you lose the spark in you. Why would? I mean, if I could stop something like that from happening, just by giving up pizza, I would. So when you, I'm glad that you didn't restrict yourself just to consent, because when people say there's a lack of consent, I point this out to them. Let's say you're wearing a watch. Right? Mm-hmm. If I had to t- uh, steal that watch, uh-huh. I took something from you without your consent. Yeah. That is why stealing is bad. Right. But raping and stealing, they both lack consent, but one is much worse than the other. Definitely. Right. As you mentioned, it also involves trauma. Mm. Are you talking about physical or mental? Both, man. Okay. Physical trauma. people can see mental trauma people can't see that's the worst thing okay so there's a lack of agency when it comes to rape victim they did not have the body the autonomy mm-hmm. right the rapist took it away from them yeah there's a lack of consent there's a physical violence there's a mental abuse mm-hmm. would you wish this upon anyone <laughs> definitely not man even for your personal benefits for i would not wish it upon anybody no matter what the all right yeah so let's introduce a scale which goes from 0 all the way till 10 mm-hmm. zero is where you do not care about this problem and 10 is where you really care about this problem where would you place yourself when it comes to stopping rape an absolute 10 all right and uh, in order to tackle this problem mm. if you could mm. if you could mm. would you suggest to a rapist please leave the humans alone please don't rape humans go rape animals if you want who would i suggest this to and why to any rapist if you could as i said that's not sound advice in the first okay. place why so because don't rape a human go abuse an animal what sort of an advice is that okay so you mean to say that raping an animal is also equally bad not necessarily equally it's bad do you think yeah it is okay so the things that we mentioned lack of consent mm. the physical violence the mental mm. abuse that mm. also applies when someone is raping an animal yep all right so you are against that as you mentioned so would you call this as an act of animal cruelty raping an animal would you call raping it raping an animal yes okay and are you against that as well raping an animal no animal cruelty animal cruelty yeah man I, you have different definitions of animal cruelty i am more than happy to work with your definition of animal cruelty and cruelty hmm. if you can define that up we can have the conversation with that one. yeah i mean see consuming animals as meat yeah that's cruelty for some and yeah. that is definitely cruelty okay but for me when i think of animal cruelty that's not what comes to my mind right. for me it's the inhuman uh, way people treat animals and for example you see all these videos on the internet where people are just abusing stray dogs Mm-hmm. that is what is the first thing i associate when i hear animal cruelty okay and how do you define cruelty you mentioned about inhuman treatment i'll note that in my mind but how do you define cruelty cruelty is if somebody is living their life and you just come and you try to obstruct their way of living that's that's cruelty that's a very broad definition of cruelty don't you think it is a very broad definition but okay. i mean it's 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 as simple as that to me if somebody is going on but you you really life. believe in that definition i i don't want to you know have the definition war but at the end when it boils down to it that is how you uh, define cruelty yeah to me if you're going and messing with anybody any it could be a human it could be an animal and if you're doing it just for your own personal benefit or fun okay to me that's cruelty 
Yeah. If you are deriving some sort of pleasure or some any other benefit by doing something to an animal or a human, that's yeah. cruelty. All right. So can you give me a few examples of animal cruelty other than raping and hurting the raping the animal and hurting the stray dogs, as you mentioned? See, I haven't come across a lot of incidents okay. as such, but I have seen a couple of videos. Okay. Your usual thing is the thing that people. Uh, people, you know, they tie crackers on dogs. They okay. just uh, like they mistreat them. I mean, I don't want to get into the specifics and the details. That's fine. That's completely fine. So you mean to say tying crackers on their tails is also an act of animal cruelty? Yeah, uh, it's as simple as you know. So people think uh, on Holi, applying colors on dogs is yeah. their way of including them in our festival. The left, But left, left side, you will the, the colors are not meant for dogs okay. or animals. And right. animals did not consent to it. Yes. So, do you think uh, bodily uh, autonomy is also important for animals? Yes. So, I'll give you a few examples of animal cruelty which I think are wrong. Mm-hmm. You tell me if you agree with her or disagree with her. Fair. Okay. What about enslaving animals? Enslaving animals. Yes. Do you mean as pets or do you mean as circus? So enslaving and enslavement would be, you know, to force someone to do something they did not want to do. That's what slavery is, like. Right. I mean, yeah, that that constitutes to animal cruelty. So I'll brief you. There are three major places where this happens. Mm-hmm. One would be, uh, uh, as you mentioned, slightly hinted, uh, circuses, right? I'll call that as entertainment. That would include zoos, circuses, and bullfighting, dog fighting, yep, and all yep, of those. Yep, yep, yep. Do you think all of those are cruel? Yep, definitely. Okay. All of them. And should we partake in any of those? No. All right. I, in fact, don't partake in any of these activities. I wouldn't even want to go as an audience member. <laughs> That is how we partake in these. Yeah, activities, yeah, right? yeah. No. Okay. How about when we enslave animals for the purpose of transportation? <laughs> hmm. I mean, I don't have a clear stance on that, man. But uh, if you're transporting animals from a place, no, we are not transporting animals. We are using animals for transportation. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. Animal, yeah, that's that's definitely wrong. You had all these Victorian uh, carts, right, in Bombay, where yes. they used to, uh, where, like, plus your uh, bullock cart rides, your yeah. camel rides, your elephant rides. Yes. Yep. No. Nope. So mostly these animals which we exploit, though it does not limit to only these, mm-hmm. would be donkeys and horses and yeah. bullocks and elephants and uh, even uh, camels. Yeah. Right? We use it, uh, firstly we enslave them. We use negative reinforcements to learn all of these things, how they are supposed to behave and act. Mm. That would be animal cruelty. Right? See, for me, I understand where people come from. Like yeah. this is deep rooted in our culture. Like there was no transportation. Yeah. So. There is the whole bullock carts and the cart rides. Yeah. I get all of that, but then we've, we've come a long way since then. Yeah. There are cars, there are bikes, there yeah. are bicycles. You don't need to follow those traditional modes of yeah. transport anymore. And moreover, just because it is part of our culture, hmm. just because something is part of culture, yeah. does it necessarily make it moral or immoral? No, just because it's a part of our culture doesn't mean we continue. That's what evolution means, right? Yeah. So. We spoke about entertainment. We spoke about uh, transport, transport. Uh, transportation of relying uh, upon animals for transportation. How about animal testing? Animal testing is wrong as well because we are enslaving and pouring chemicals on their eyes, on their fur, on their skin. Definitely. Right. How about using animals for fashion? Could you give me an example of that? Leather, silk, wool, and fur. Hmm. I don't have a clear stance on it, man. I mean, not that I am a person who would deliberately go for a leather jacket or a leather belt. I try to be as sustainable mm-hmm. and eco-friendly in that manner okay. as possible. But uh, I would, I, if given a given a choice, I would wear shoes that are made of synthetic leather than genuine leather. Okay. If it goes any way towards saving an animal, yes. What about uh, silk wool and fur? I mean leather, yes. 
now i can uh, pose this question in a different fashion hmm. uh, who needs their skin you or the fox or you or the buffalo or you or the cow or you or the crocodile see in the in case of uh, wool right uh, the sheep they they get all heavy with fur right so it's wool not fur wool not fur yeah you mentioned fur yeah so like they get all heavy with the yeah. wool on their body so yeah. it's necessary to shave it off okay how do we shave it off with uh, clippers and trimmers do you know why they produce so much wool i'm sure i mean it's an industry which people are running a business yeah. out of I so mean, we genetically modify yeah. these animals mm. we selectively breed them yeah. to produce more and more wool mm. which is not comfortable for them mm. and moreover where are these animals supposed to be in the wild in the cold environment where where they would require this wool yeah. for protection yeah so not only we are kidnapping them enslaving mm. them forcefully bringing them into existence mm. genetically modifying them we are sort of using them yeah when they did not want to i mean would you be okay if someone i don't know if you donate your blood or not to you i haven't donated my yeah. blood but if someone needed it can mm. they forcefully take it from you forcefully no man it has to be from your consent right yeah even if you had enough blood in your body take it 200 ml yeah. we cannot do that yeah. right should we do that to these animals and let's be honest the only reason we take the bull is not it's for the betterment for yeah. the animal it's yeah. for our personal no, no, selfish obviously needs. obviously yeah, yeah yeah definitely but see that's the difference right you can take bull because the animal benefits from it in some way yeah. but when it comes to killing an animal and yeah. procuring their skin yeah. or bull that just straight up something that i'm so against so think is we forcefully bring them into existence i'll tell you about how we bring them into existence in a few minutes time okay but we forcefully bring them into existence only for the purpose of wool hmm. was that necessary to bring someone into existence just because you wanted something from them i mean that would be i mean not the best analogy but if i was forcefully bringing a human babies into existence just to organ harvest hmm. or let's say just to take blood hmm. i just take 200 ml of blood hmm. not the end of the world for them right hmm. but is it okay is it moral it's not in the similar fashion right okay now let's come to we spoke about most of the lifestyle choices except for dietary choices mm-hmm. right so there are four major places we need to tackle one would be for their flesh one would be honey one would be eggs and one would be mm-hmm. dairy products what was the third thing you said eggs eggs right and last would be dairy products right where do you think animal abuse happens and where do you think animal abuse does not happen i believe it happens in every sector man okay because a uh, few minutes back when i was using the animal cruelty word mm. you said that eating an animal for the purpose of eating i mm. think you said it's okay you do not think of it as cruelty mm. animal cruelty mm. do you think it's not animal cruelty no it is animal cruelty okay. it isn't for me it is There's, not for you it is not for me according to your definition of cruelty see it is, is, it, or is it it is cruel by general definition it is it's wrong okay. right mm-hmm. but as a no, i want to know your uh, definition otherwise see in general definition rape is wrong the right. only reason i asked you particularly mm-hmm. is because i wanted to understand your perspective right so i want you to honestly say what you feel is that animal cruelty or is it not animal? it is animal cruelty but it is something that has been normalized over the uh, over generations yeah and I mean that's something that I've been conditioned since birth. Okay. It's not like I started eating meat about a year ago. I've been eating meat since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh in fact my father took me to the butcher shop. Yeah. As a kid just to show me that hey this is how the meat that you eat comes from. Yeah. So that later at later in life when I grow up and I see one of these videos I don't yeah. get traumatized and you yeah. know get all broken on the inside okay. like hey what am I eating? So for me Who am I? Huh? Not what? Who am I? Yeah, who am I eating? What am I eating? I I wouldn't have such questions. Mm-hmm. So this is so let's con- talk, let's this talk is conditioning that happens since childhood. So even so though you don't know you deep think, inside that it's wrong, yeah, you tend to normalize it. But should we? We shouldn't. Yeah. On an individual level, not talking about others. Yeah. Just you and me. Should we normalize it? Should we think it's okay to mm. murder someone just for the purpose of food? No, it's not. So should we continue it? you and me not talking about anyone else ideally we should ideally we shouldn't yeah 
but that's not something that i would stop just because i have been used to that taste i've been used to doing things a certain way all okay. my life and okay. i agree i could change things up right yeah. but that's not some sort of a commitment that i can give to quit eating meat okay because for me i think murdered animals you could call it whatever you want but do for, you think that's a wrong way of putting it through generally asking no it's not a wrong way of putting it through no what happens is when we use the words like meat and non veg and let's say chicken and uh, uh, what are the other words pork and beef ham what, sometimes even pork and ham as well hmm. what we do is we sort of sugar coat the things that we are doing normalize them yeah, we sugar coat them as well so yeah. that we do not feel so bad about what we actually did okay no i mean ham is the part of ham is that part what of, is ham ham is the part of the pig like it's a jaise bacon is a thing that is made out of a certain fatty portion of the pork's body pork's Vaise, body i mean uh, the you see the pig you made the point that i was trying to yeah. make right but see you don't say that hey i mean i'm going to go home and eat a pig tonight you say you I, know I'm why go, i need pork tonight why why do maybe we use because those languages i don't know i haven't given it a thought but maybe saying that hey i'm going to go eat a pig tonight sounds gross or it sounds cruel but don't you think that's true I like mean, we are eating pigs when we say that we are eating pork you are yeah. you are doing that yeah but it's not like you're sugar coating it it's just that you're used to saying things that way i the mean the thing is we only say it so we can uh, you know uh, distance ourselves from what actually happens see when i'm eating chicken breast i say i'm going to eat a chicken breast you do not say you are eating hens but i say chicken chicken yeah. is what they are pork isn't what they okay pig is what but it is but they are hens right they are hens synonyms chicken i mean we can argue about definition but that's not where i yeah, want to yeah, be yeah, stuck yeah, yeah. okay but despite that despite someone being uh, brought up in a lifestyle where they have been conditioned to do something mm. have been doing something for quite some time mm. is it a moral justification to do it i'm not asking for any commitment over here no 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 i i understand what you're saying but then it's not more it's a question of taste and personal preference over okay. here whose personal preference yours or the animal who did not want to be murdered my personal preference should we not take their personal preference as well we into consideration could. we could we could or we should we could but no, it's we not we could or we should see you no, you're not generally you're not asking go and you're not going to ask hey hey mr chicken can i just eat you for my own pleasure mostly the birds that we eat are females not males you know why <laughs> okay fun fact bye because uh, they would not grow as fast as the females would so within the first few you minutes mean males yes they would not grow as fast as the females would ha huh. so within the first 5 10 minutes hmm. if uh, depending on the situation on the first day hmm. they would be either crushed to death boiled to death drowned to death or they'd be loaded up in conveyor belts hmm. just like the one we have in metro hmm. but unlike going through an x-ray machine at the end of the conveyor belt are big rotating blades hmm. and they are going to be chopped up alive hmm. okay hmm. so that is how the male chicks lose their life hmm. so mostly the animals that you eat are mostly females okay but despite that um, and i know that uh, you say that it's wrong should we continue on that action just because we have done it for quite some time now we sh- i see it's a question of ideally we should yeah but would i continue yes okay and i mean this is what we say we can only bring the man to the pond it is up to him if he wants to drink or not see morally yeah. morally yeah ideally i know it's wrong yeah consuming meat but one it's convenient to get like for me okay. as a person who focuses on his macros it's rather easy to consume one portion of chicken breast okay and cook a portion of chicken breast than to cook so much amount of soya or why do you need to cook paneer? so much amount of soya and paneer even though paneer i think is still coming from animal exploitation hmm by the way do you want to know the breeding that i was telling you about just bringing that into a picture hmm so did you figure out the connection between pizza and rape uh not yet but uh, 
I'll come I, I get where I get where you're I get where you're going. Can you uh, hint me? Most pizza, the, when you think of pizza, you think of pepperoni. Uh, it's not going there. No? Okay. Why don't you help me out? So, pizza has cheese on it, right? Right. Where do we get that cheese from? Dairy, dairy industry. Cows. Um, buffaloes and the cows when they produce milk. And when do they produce milk? When they are lactating, I assume? Yeah, when? When? I think, by the way this conversation is going, I think you would say something on the lines of when they give birth to a new calf. That is exactly when any mammal would give, uh, would produce milk. Man, I suck at biology, but no, for but the longest time I thought cows just give birth for all their life. Give birth for all uh, their Sorry, uh, give milk for all their life. Okay. So cows are mammals, hmm. so are humans. Hmm. And when do human females produce milk? Only once they give birth. Hmm. In a similar fashion, any other animal who is a mammal would produce milk only when they have had a baby. Hmm. They produce milk not because they are cows or buffaloes, but because they are mothers now. Interesting, okay. Yeah. And why do they produce milk? For their calves. Yeah, but why? I mean, can the baby not eat something else? No. Why? Because they require the... Just as a human requires their... Mother's requires milk. to be breastfed, they could be given Cerillac, right? But so, I'll tell you what happens is any mammal mother produces milk to nourish their babies because these babies do not have the digestive system to digest any other thing. Right. Others mothers won't be wasting their nutrients in producing milk, right? And moreover, what do you require to chew something? Yeah. Teeth, right? Mm. Do babies have teeth? Right. They don't. Mm. That is why their mothers produce milk. Mm. But in order to have a baby, you need to be pregnant for that. Right. And in order to be pregnant, you need to be having sex for that. <coughs> Are we waiting for any of these animals to have sex naturally? So, it, it links to artificial, artificial insemination. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Do you know how that process happens? Uh, I think I've seen a video. I, I think I've seen a graphic video. Okay, can you describe it? Don't they just take the semen and shove it inside? Yeah, they do. But how do they even get the semen to begin with? Don't they artificially... Produce the semen? No, no, no. They get the cows to... I mean... What? Do their thing. So, uh, what we do is we give electric shock to the bull on his testicles to force him to ejaculate. Or sometimes... Really? A dildo-like thing is shoved in their anus which will also give them electric shock and they'll ejaculate. Yeah. Or sometimes they are going to literally jerk off the bull to collect the bull semen. Aha. Uh -huh. Then they store it in a cold container and when it is time to impregnate the female cattle, mm -hmm. the buffalo or the cow, mm -hmm. they are going to shove their hands in their anus, their yeah. body. They'll take a metal syringe this big, dip it in the sperm they had collected and push that metal rod in her vagina to deliver that sperm to artificially inseminate her. Mm. I think you have seen this part, yeah. right? What do you think, anally fisting someone without permission and putting a metal rod in their vagina without permission, what would you call that process? To a human, that'd be rape. Is it any different for animals? No, but... Uh, it's okay if you want to use different words. No, that's just capitalism, man. That's just how, that's just how business works. Okay. Just because people want it, people shall have it. Okay, but what word would you call it? Capitalism is many things, not just this. This particular act would See, be it's called... cruel. It's cruel. Many Definitely. things would be cruel. Can you be a bit more precise? That is what I'm trying to say. It's okay if you want to just call it cool. I don't mind. But can we be precise? Eh? Is it possible? It's okay if you say no. It's forced. It's cruel. Okay. What forced words? what? Impregnation. Forced impregnation, yes. So, is it moral? Is it moral? It's not. Yeah. Do you think the victim in this case, hmm. there's a victim involved? There is a victim. I wouldn't call... I mean... See, there's something wrong happening, but in this case, I wouldn't call it a victim as such. Okay, so there's something wrong happening hmm. with someone. Hmm. So, by definition, aren't they victims? You could call them victims, man, but then this is just how the industry works. And okay, so we, could, we could change things up, but mm -hmm. then that would not lead to the most profitable business model. So, 
what do we focus more on a profit or not abusing someone that's what i said welcome to capitalism you could focus on <laughs> making sure that the society is an ideal place to live okay. where everything happens with consent okay. and animals aren't abused for okay. human benefits right yeah. but that people want meat people want meat every day you're not going to get so thing is they want they don't need hmm. so we put our bonds above someone else's yep exploitation yep we should It, that's how the industry works that's how the world works i am aware yeah. so you do not need to give me a real no, no, reality no no that's what i'm saying right? i'm aware that people want this hmm. just like a rapist wants to rape someone hmm. Hmm. even if we had an industry let's talk about slave trade hmm. there was a whole business behind it it was very profitable for the people who were doing it see that's what I, that's that's where we started of this whole conversation yes. i am empathetic towards humans when it happens okay. to a human All cruelty right. to me is when you are abusing an animal when you are killing an animal or when you are doing it for a human benefit in this case milk dairy products or meat okay. i don't constitute that as animal cruelty in my head Okay. because that's just something that i've been conditioned to since Fine. childhood so are you open to a thought experiment i am okay let's take a human hmm. that you do not know uh, a human that you do not know a, a human do i uh, who, who i do not know yeah. yeah and on the other hand side is an animal hmm. could be an animal that uh, you rely upon for food pleasures okay let's call all the traits that this animal possesses is x morally speaking Yeah. and all the things that human possesses as x plus y mm. because surely there has to be some difference which justifies this different attitude mm. that we have for these animals right mm. so can you tell me what is this y which justifies the way we treat these animals why we do not think of that as animal cruelty For starters, they can't speak. Okay. Right. Okay. They cannot speak, or they cannot speak in a language that we understand. They cannot speak in a language that I understand. All right. So they can speak, right? They can speak. Uh, you don't understand it, that, and there is no way for you to understand it, right? Yeah. There are also some people who speak, let's say in tongues, right? There is no way to understand that person. Hmm. If this unknown person was that person, would it justify? treating them the way we treat these animals no because for me again it's a human i can't treat a human the so, same way that's fine but i was asking for this why hmm. which you said was the language right language and many more things man. yeah so, me, so tell me all of those things and i am happy to discuss that language i just language it could not be because you clearly went against that point hmm. right what else the ability to express in a manner that i would understand again that comes to language and yeah. comprehending yeah but also there are many humans even though when it comes to the percentage small in number hmm. but there are many humans hmm. who do not have this ability to express in hmm. a way that you would understand so if this person in this scenario was that person who could not express these things would it justify the action that we do to the animals to be done to them No, it still doesn't, man. Because yeah. in my head, there's a. So that's not the why. We are trying to figure out the why, hmm. right? Hmm. So let's try to work it through. It's not the ability to speak or convey how they are feeling. Hmm. So what else it could be? I don't have an answer to your question. All right. But think about it. I mean, like, yeah, that's a valid no, question. Not right now, hmm. but whenever, like, it's okay if you want to do it right now as well. Hmm. I'm more than happy to spend a few minutes behind this. But even when we are done with the discussion, please think about it. Yep. Keep, what is this one thing that these animals lack, which humans have, which justifies this difference in behavior, hmm. and take it away from that human? Hmm. Can we justify that? Now, I'll give an example. Many hmm. people say that the ability to think. Hmm. animals also have the ability to think and not all humans are on the same intellectual level mm. babies for example cannot think the way we do mm. moreover there are some cognitively disabled humans as well mm. we would never justify these actions moreover we would be looking after them mm. right mm. so it cannot be thinking when you say about humans just by the virtue of them being humans mm. right would it do this to a neanderthal 
from which the humans evolved. Yeah, I know, but I wouldn't see that. It all comes down to normalizing something, right? Yeah. If something has been normalized by society for yeah. years together, yes, Not you years, could. I think here centuries, right? Centuries, man. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If something has been normalized for yeah. so long, it's been deep rooted in the society. Okay. And yes, you should unlearn and relearn yeah. things. And I'm open to doing. I'm open to unlearning and relearning yeah. a lot of things in life. But then for me, this is something that I don't know. It's got, if if I had to, it'd be a really difficult change. I don't deny that. Now for me, mm. and I know that I'm not like other people. Mm. Okay, I could be an outlier. Mm. For me, it was rather easy. Mm. And I know that for others, it might be genuinely difficult. Mm. But the thing is, when we are when there is a real victim involved and let's be honest even if you do not want to label them as victims mm. there is someone suffering at the end mm. right mm. who did not deserve it mm. so shouldn't we look from their perspective as well just because we have normalized something at one point of time sati was legalized uh, sorry normalized mm. female genital mutilation female infanticide as well as you know the witch burning slavery all of these things were normalized mm. right mm. But did we not move away from it? Because we understood that's not the way to live. That is coming at the expense of someone else's suffering. Yep. So even though it is going to be difficult, and as one of my friends say, in life we do something with uh, some actions which are genuinely difficult. Hmm. For example, I mean, I am not going to compare that with uh, driving or learning how to drive a car. Hmm. But at one point of time, even that is challenging. But we still do it. I do not know if you drive a car or hmm. not. But there might be many things in your life which you have done which might have been difficult, genuinely difficult. But you had a reason good enough to do it. You can think of it if you want. Mm. But thing is we have done difficult things in our life. Mm. And over here also, it might be difficult but when we look, uh, start looking from the people who have been exploited. But you see that's that's the difference, right? When, when As you said that you do not uh, think of when it comes to humans and animals, you put humans first. So mm. that is why the thought experiment that I gave you. Like some people say the ability to speak, the ability to think. Mm. Try taking that away from a human, we won't justify that. Mm. Some people say just by the fact that they are human. Uh, have you seen Avengers by any chance? I have. Alright, but uh, okay, do you know about Superman? Yeah. He's an alien, right? He's not from this world. Okay. Would we justify these actions on him? He's not human. He's a human. He's not. He comes from a planet called Krypton. Let's think of these uh, aliens which look like humans. So, is it that they are humans or just that they look like humans? They look like humans. Okay. So, uh, have you seen Avatar or have you seen the posters of it? Yeah. Those aliens do not look like humans. Is it okay to do it to them? They don't look like humans, but they still have that sort of a human appeal to them. Which would be? That's the why that we are trying to figure out. And it's okay we, if you cannot think of it right now, please think about it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and definitely. this is called name the trait. Hmm. In case if you want to know more about it, hmm. remember the three words name the trait. Name the trait. Yeah, trait. T R A I. Trait. Yeah. This yeah. Y is a set of traits, right? Hmm. What could be these traits which justify us exploiting these animals but not treating humans like that? Please think about it, okay? okay. And I'll give you a resource card which will talk more about the exploitation they go through but still I would hope that you go through the ethics section of it hmm. even if you do not go through the other section it's alright go through the ethics section and in case if you have any further questions I also mentioned the instant whatsapp of our group you can always ask us out there Interesting. Okay. So give this up. Okay. Interesting. I did not think this conversation would go in this direction. By no means did I think it would go in that direction. Thing is, it was talking about the rape which happens to animals. But when we boil down why rape is immoral, as how we started, literally, is lack of you know bodily autonomy, the physical violence that happens, the mental abuse that happens. Mm. And taking that and applying our logic consistently. Hmm. I mean, that is what logic is. We apply it to different situations. It has to still stand. Hmm. Otherwise, that logic is flawed. Hmm. Right? Either there has to be a good reason 
which justifies the change in the answer, <coughs> which will justify changing the logic that we have. So that's why, logically speaking, let's go with that. Okay. So whenever you get time, look up, name the trait, try to figure out what is this why thing which differentiates uh, humans and animals on a moral ground. Okay. And let's say whenever you are passing by, if you see me, if you figure what is this why, let me know. Okay. Definitely. What's your name, sir? Akhil. Akhil. Nice to meet you. Your name is? I'm Agastya. It was Agastya. nice talking to you, Akhil. Same, same, same. How long have you been doing this? Like standing on the streets today or since whenever? No, I, I mean this this whole initiative thing that you've been... Uh, so it is not just me who does it. As I said, there is a group yeah, behind you it. You have right? a uh, group that does yeah. this. Yeah. So they have been doing it, I think, since 2016 or 17. I joined last year. Hmm. So it's just a group of volunteers who do not want animals to be exploited. Hmm. And one of the things that we do is street outreach where we talk to people about this. Hmm. Okay. So just like how we spoke about morals and ethics, hmm. that is what we try to do. And uh, since when I have been doing last year, uh, October actually. Interesting. And uh, were you a meat eater? I was. And. Uh, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm really curious. So back when I got my internship offer in 2019, when mm. I was in college, mm. the day after that we went out, me, my then girlfriend and her friend. Okay. We had ordered barbecue chicken wings. I was eating that. And we were discussing about religion, about uh, atheism and about animal abuse. And while eating the wing of this murdered animal, I said that I'm doing this. I talk about stopping cruelty all day long. I'm against it. But just because of the 10 minutes of pleasure that I'm going to derive from eating this, an animal was murdered unnecessarily. Had to go through a life of suffering. None of this was human or moral. Hmm. And once I'm done eating that, I'm not even going to remember how it tasted. I mean, I will know. Yeah, it felt good, but not exactly how good it felt. Could it be justified to murder someone just for that 10 minutes of pleasure? Even if just it, to bring somebody to life, get them to live a couple of months, years, I don't mm -hmm. know, just for them to be killed and enjoyed for, the, for, for those 10 minutes, definitely not justified. Yeah. By the way, you said, uh, what, months or years, right? Bring them into existence. Yeah, for a couple of months, couple yeah. of... The hens that we eat, mm -hmm. you know how old they are when they are killed? Can you make a guess? On their own, a hen is perfectly capable of living up to the age of 8 okay. years. Hmm. So my guess would be 6 months? It is actually 6 weeks. 6 weeks? Okay. We give them hormones and steroids and injections to fatten them up. Okay. Uh -huh. And that is how they get so big in such a short amount of time. The thing is that bones are not strong enough to handle that weight. And that is why most of the times you'll see that they have bone fracture and weak bones and osteoporosis. And yeah. by the sixth week, we slaughter them for the purpose of Right. But you knew all of this for all your life, right? Not all of my life, but some of the abuse I did know, some of the abuse I did not know. Hmm. And I'll be honest, there was a point of time when I said I genuinely do not care enough. Hmm. But the thing is, uh, Akhil, when you came, uh, saw my poster, I did not care about you enough. Mm. But if someone came and started hitting you, despite me not having this care for you because I did not know you, you are not my friend, you are just a stranger passing by, I would still stop that fight from happening. I would still stop that person from hurting you. Yep. Right? I do not know if you do the same for me or mm. not. Mm. But even if we do not care, we should not let someone abuse. Especially because of us. Right? Yep. No, but my question is, what got you to give meat up because I know every person who enjoys meat for them it is a difficult choice but it would have like for some it's seeing a butcher yeah, yeah. kill so somebody in that's, my childhood that's, I have seen trauma but then in I'm my, sure you live no in, in my childhood I have seen and that didn't you stop know, you it did not exactly but there was time when I stopped because first I understood that consumption of animals is unhealthy carcinogenic as well by the ah. way you might know yeah, about yeah. it. But what I saw is uh, it was causing zoonotic diseases. The disease which originates from animals but comes to humans, humans. because of uh, you know, consuming yeah, animals. Yeah. Just like for example COVID-19, uh, swine, swine flu and yeah. uh, mad cow disease, mm. all of those things, even bird flu for example. Mm. So that is when I first stopped as a kid. Mm. 
later on like i carried that out for 20 months mm. roughly and then for some reason i gave in i don't remember why i wish i know uh, knew the reason why mm. i don't remember it but afterwards i saw on discovery channel in a japanese restaurant they were making shark fin soup okay they would catch a shark chop the fin from the shark throw the shark back in the ocean just for a soup that shark is going to bleed and drown to death Mm. So even though I did not know the word fuck back then, my emotion was, what the fuck did you do to this magnificent beast just for a freaking suit? Mm. Okay, I did not change my actions back then. Then in college we had a group discussion about should we ban beef. Mm. My question was why beef and why just beef and why ban? It has to be a moral stance, right? Mm. And what's wrong in murdering a cow versus murdering a hen or a goat? Mm. I mean we say these are mammals and those are birds. but from the victim's perspective they both are in pain they did not ask neither of them asked for it mm. okay and then i stopped consuming animal products went back because i thought i could not make a difference and then when i was talking about this uh, you know the day after my internship offer that i received thought that despite uh, me not making a change on a large scale there are so many things that we still do on a small scale right for example that dustbin is not full right now but that one is I have a plastic bottle. I could choose to throw in the dustbin or on the road. Given the amount of plastic pollution in this world, would it really make a difference if I threw it on the road? Would be hardly making any difference, right? But what should I do? To throw it in the dustbin, right? And secondly, if everyone starts thinking like this, are we going to make any improvements? You said that is what evolution is about. right hmm. just because something has been happening for very long time it has been a culture or tradition hmm. is not a justification to continue doing it and another thing that would be is even though on a large scale we cannot on an individual level would it not make a difference to these animals hmm. which are being exploited for us hmm. i mean imagine if a rapist comes and talks to us hmm. i can definitely give up raping hmm. but look at the number of rape ca- cases that happens in the world it would hardly make a difference hmm. i think is the one who was going to be raped it would make a hell lot of difference for that one person right and i think it all boils down to the fact that we can't comprehend what that animal is saying or uh, we ne- we never see that animal ever again yeah so it's just easier to not it, it, you don't feel guilty about it you don't feel guilty about consuming meat you don't yeah. feel guilty about killing an animal also the fact that <clears throat> if you 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 would stop rape from happening right but then you wouldn't go rape somebody but then so uh, yeah, you mentioned that uh, we would stop rape from happening but we would not rape someone hmm. see i also think the reason why it's normalized in our society is because to eat a chicken you don't have to go and actually go physically murder Order. it to yeah. death you go to a store it's nicely wrapped in a container and yeah. you go eat you, you get it home you eat it but so, the point is the money that we paid yeah. someone actually had to do the killing just yeah. because it happened at the you know at some other place which hmm. was not in our uh view yeah that's what mean it did not happen right yeah definitely that's why i think you don't feel guilty about it mhm although it's wrong yeah but you don't feel guilty about it yeah. because you you're not having to go do it yeah you know yeah. in the back of your mind somebody else is doing it yeah. you know it's being murdered yeah. you also know that they are being given hormones or whatever yeah. you don't see anything yeah and i think as you mentioned you have seen it and there are so many poultry shops mm. on the open mm. in bangalore and at many places in india we see it and we have sort of as you said we have normalized it we have yeah. desensitized a ourselves. lot of people a couple of my friends uh, yeah. i the guys i work with in office yeah uh, there's this girl who has been a meat eater for all her life yeah she recently quit eating meat and yeah. i asked her as to why and uh, cuz most of the dishes i cook at home yeah they have some sort of meat in it yeah so i hate the fact that whenever i cook she never gets to eat anything yeah so i asked that dude you ate meat all your life i would you just give up she's yeah. like i just saw a video and yeah. i couldn't eat meat after that yeah. this guy who was a avid meat eater a fish lover yeah. called them 
he visited a KFC farm where he saw those chickens being uh, mistreated. Yeah, no, not mistreated, but the way the same thing uh, being given hormones, not being able to stand on yeah. their own feet, the kind of conditions that they were kept in. Yeah. So he saw all of that happen, and yeah. he eventually gave up. Yeah. The fact is, most of us don't come across a scenario where you see something like that happen. Yeah. You don't see people going to a. But in fact, you know, that's the thing, right? As a kid, I remember seeing these PETA videos yeah. on YouTube where I saw uh, uh, what Petco, the way they got procured pets, okay. hamsters, and okay. uh, the way chickens and uh, pigs were bred and how they were kept. And back then, it was that one night. I remember watching all the videos on PETA's channel. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is happening? Really? Yeah. I was a little taken aback after seeing all that. But I think it's just because it has been normalized so much by yeah. society and the fact that my dad took me to that butcher shop when I was a kid, it's it did not change me a lot. Okay. It should have, right? I, I, it also depends. I saw all those videos and I felt like, dude, this is wrong. Yeah. Why, why, why are people doing this? Yeah. Like, why are people, you know, yeah. doing it in this manner? Yeah. Like, I thought maybe there's a farmhouse where chicks are being raised and then they're whatever. I know it's still a business, but I did not think it's being mass produced like this, like on such a large scale. But I don't know, things did not change for me. Yeah. I so, think so, are you glad that your dad took you to the butcher shop? What do you feel about it? <clears throat> it's okay if you don't want to answer. I haven't thought about it. About it actually, but if he wouldn't have, I don't know. I think would have wouldn't have been this way. I think that did normalize. <coughs> his intention was to normalize it okay. for me. Uh, so let's uh, use this example. If we are normalizing any other sort of abuse, be it for humans or animals, do you think we should be normalizing it, or we should be like, okay, someone is being hurt unnecessarily, we should not normalize it. Not normalize it, but then see. My dad also knows it's cruel, right? Now I'm wondering why did he why did he take me to the butcher shop? His intention in his mind was to normalize it for me. Yeah. He knows it's wrong. Yeah. But he wanted to normalize it yeah. for me. It brings me to that question. Yeah. So as a society, it just yeah. people know it's wrong, yeah. but they're actively doing things to normalize it. Yeah. It's not like. Aha, theek hai, whatever. Like, yeah. it's not ha, theek hai. It's like today we're going to the butcher shop, yeah. and you're you're coming with me so that you see it. Yeah. So as a society, I think it's a bigger picture that's being painted. Okay. And do you think we should like when given a chance? I do not know if you would have a kid or adopt a kid or whatever. Hmm. But let's say if you did, would you want to take them to a butcher shop and show them this? Or would you want to avoid uh, showing these graphic footages and the things that were happening to animals? I would probably not normalize it. Okay. Because as a kid, I remember I was just a little traumatized at that point, but mm -hmm. it still tasted yummy. Yeah. So as a kid, I did not have the ability to think so much. Yeah. For a kid, it's as simple as it tastes nice or not. Yeah. So I probably would not take my kid to a butcher shop okay. because I know it's cruel, right? Yeah. But it's just as a person, I have. Yeah. I prefer certain things. Yeah. I'll come to the taste. I am point. the way I am. I wouldn't want my kid to see if I could make a change. Yeah. I, I, it's really difficult for me to change as yeah. a person right now. But if I could raise my kid to be a vegetarian, okay, I probably would. Well, I just. Uh, I described how we get the buffaloes and cows bred. Right? Do you think being a vegetarian would be good enough for those animals? It's okay to say no. No, but then yeah, this this question will never come to an end because. Okay, चलो अभी तुम बोल दोगे कि let's let's quit meat. Being vegetarian is not good enough. You're still consuming dairy. You're still uh, having animals abused in yeah, one yeah. sense or the other. Go vegan. Mm -hmm. That's the answer. Okay. 
eat only plant based diets uh-huh. but then it's not just about diet by the way we also spoke about the other places where animals are abused right many things so but in veganism. my head veganism is a lot of things leather mm. fashion and uh, yeah. beauty products but for me the first thing that comes to mind is food there, uh, there is a reason behind it and even i got the definition of vegan wrong in the beginning i'll tell you why but the thing is since the animal abuse regularly happens thrice a day when we consume food right so that's why we first think about diet and then about other lifestyle choices but the reason i tackled the other ones is because other ones are rather easy to understand and stop i know that changing someone's diet is going to be difficult and it's not my job or duty to change your diet individually speaking it has to come from within and uh, genuinely uh, asking before uh, okay first i'll explain what veganism actually means is not about diet it's not about any it's other thing it's about an overall thought not promoting yeah. cruelty it towards is, anybody you got it right yeah you got it word to word right actually towards anybody for that yeah. matter humans animals regardless in yeah. any sense could be a diet could be testing it could yeah. be yeah for transport yeah. anything just not promoting cruelty i get that yeah give But me that, a high five for that because you got it right yeah because it is not exploiting anyone who has the capacity to feel pain with humans or other animals which would also include birds fish and insects asha to tell me one thing yes. we could end the debate over here but also yeah do you know that when you are harvesting a crop yes when you are harvesting plants or yes, you're yes. plucking up uh plant i know flower yeah so even then plants feel the pain if you attach sensors yeah you can see that there are graph waves where the plant feels that pain it's just that we can't see them going we can't hear them okay. we can't see them reacting to it yeah yeah so i'll answer that hmm. okay but before that uh, i wanted to ask you said that uh, about not showing this abuse to your uh, kid if you had one would you want that kid to be vegan if they choose to be that's the ideal way to be man so i would hmm. definitely want my kid to do ideal things yeah yep okay so let's talk about plants now i know these all of these plants are alive they have shown that that they are alive they breathe they also get some diseases right mm. but would any of them get kidney stones ever <laughs> and the reason being because that's not how they are that's not how they function that's not how they are uh... but they have kidneys they don't have that's not how they are made that's, yeah that's so they so are. they would not have kidney stones because they don't have kidneys right. can they ever have brain tumor no nope. because they don't have brains yeah so the way we understand uh, how pain works okay so there are something called pain receptors there's a central nervous system which transmits that pain and also brain which receives that pain and acts upon it mm. thing is reacting to a stimuli is different from actually feeling that thing hmm. okay plants can react to these things just like you might have seen how sunflower moves throughout the day right but it is because of the chemicals hmm. in them hmm. for example venus fly trap or the touch me not plant yep. right so it works based on the water pressure difference hmm. so they are reacting to it but they don't actually feel it man but all these studies that show that putting receptors on these plants yeah there are certain yeah so movements that so let's figure it out what is it happening So Because they do. So they do feel that. No, what are they feeling? That's the. And thing. when you cut a leaf off, that yeah. is their source of. Uh, It's their kitchen. So we are yeah. basically destroying their kitchen. I know. I know. But point is, they still cannot feel pain. But you still, if you cut off somebody's kitchen, you deprive them of food. Yes, I know. I right? know. You're but, depriving somebody of but, food. But, Eventually, but the they're going to die. But the thing is, they still would not feel that pain. What vegans value is. the sentience sentience is the subjective experience of this world where you can feel happiness joy sadness sorrow fear so don't anger, you feel that selective just so, because just because yeah plants react in a different manner yeah and animals and humans react in a different manner the humans are also animals but yes when you say that i do acknowledge it reason being they still do not feel pain if there is no concept of feeling pain there's no concept of being exploited and let's be honest um let's say that coffee shop was burning mm. there are some humans there are some animals mm. and there's a carrot and a tomato mm. okay mm. would you go in and save a carrot and tomato rather than humans and animals no i would go so uh, save a human first okay yeah. and then if you had time 
animals as well. Animal, yeah. But and it, then in last priority order would be a plant. So we have also made a priority list, right? Yeah, because there's a heart pumping inside one of them. For me, yeah. it's the heart that differentiates. Okay, but so animals also have hearts. Yeah. For you, hmm. just talking about you. Hmm. For you, they all animals also have hearts, and plants don't have hearts. Yeah. I mean, that. That is the, the only. That is the only thing that differentiates them. But honestly, the discussion where it started from, yeah. which is non-consensual, yeah. and the fact about them not feeling pain. Yeah. That is something that I disagree about. They that, don't have a heart. I I yeah. agree. But. at the same time they also do not have the capacity to feel pain and that is what we value is not to cause pain and suffering and exploitation if you cannot feel pain by definition you would not have these things and i know that you could bring in the discussion about what about a coma patient they have the capacity to regain the consciousness and the ability to feel it right and that's why we do not uh, take into consideration abusing a coma patient but plants they can never regain consciousness because they were never conscious They never had sentience. Fair, okay. Yeah. We take we'll go back. Yeah. That. But still, uh, you remember the name that trait that I name asked. Name the trait. Right? Yes. Please look into it. Mm-hmm. If you ever find me, let me know 100%. what you feel about it. Okay. So give that that thought. I think I'll wrap it up here. That's been our time. Yeah. Thank it's, you so much. Really nice talking. meeting you. And your name is Agastya. Agastya, it was really nice meeting you. Agastya. Chalo, let's say hopefully in future we'll come across you. Let me know what you feel about it. Even if you could not get See, the this, answer, this this conversation doesn't yeah. die down over. This is definitely something that I will think of yeah. think about on my metro ride home. Yeah. While I go home, cook my dinner. Yeah. I I will think about this. Yeah. <laughs> and whatever you uh, and I really the, appreciate the way you put things forth because. I'll be honest. I am also the dude who goes on Peta's account and uh, whenever they put a post like, yeah. "Look at this animal going through abuse," yeah. I go and comment yum. But because you put, because yeah. I hate Peta, I hate okay. the way they they do things. Okay. But I appreciate the way you had this yeah. conversation. I mean, everyone has a different style, and I'm glad that you liked it. Hmm. There was literally one person who did not like the way I did it, but I'm fine with that because you are going to. in due time you are going to find some people who agree with the way you do and also find people who disagree with no, the, the way, way I, the way i look at peter doing things for me that's plain stupid okay this was a conversation that forced me to think yeah so i mean peter is just shoving things into like yeah. like hey you promote this blah blah okay. just let me be you are peacefully standing okay. i came to you i wanted to know what this is about yeah You never forced your opinion down my throat. Yeah. That is something I really appreciate. Thank you. That is what would if it gets me to change. Yeah. This is what would get me to change. Did I give you the resource card? You, you, you give. Yeah. You gave it to me. So please make sure you use it. Hmm. But that would be still me shoving the videos down your throat. Know, Up yeah. to you, however you want to use it. Okay. No, see, that's that's still I'm consenting to seeing those. Yeah, videos. yeah. Imagine if I was just walking down the street and you came to me like, "Hey, you eat a pizza. Hey, you deserve to die. Fuck you, no." I didn't say that. That that is something to be like, okay, fuck you. It's just annoying. Yeah. See, I, I watched a stand-up comedy, a uh, Daniel Sloss. I have not heard of that person. He talks about vegans in that stand-up comedy, yeah. and he's like, uh, he he says all these points about veganism, and he's like, these are valid points. But when you find a vegan, they would not say any of these things okay. to you. They'd just be like. No, but it's cruel. It's bad. That's their only argument. Okay. And I was different with you. You you gave me the facts. You gave me the see like all the couple of things I did not know about. Yeah. So this was honestly an infomercial. Yeah. 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 I get it. But still, you think about this conversation. I'll also take a leave. I would have to catch a bus. But thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for giving me. The ability to think about all these things. I was just going by my normal way. I just got off work and I was going, and I saw this, and I wanted to know what it is about. And it's nice that I'm going back home, thinking about something yeah. meaning. Yeah. And in case if you have further questions or even if you have a rebuttal, a rebuttal point, mm-hmm. I have mentioned the Insta of the group. You can drop the message over there. Definitely. Even now, WhatsApp is fine. I don't. So what do you all do? You all. Uh, do so, this on a daily basis. You all do uh, this on a weekly not basis. Not really. So this group, we usually come together whenever there is a public holiday or a weekend. Okay. I do it after work. 
but there are people who comes from all walks of life they do whenever they can in whatever fashion they can it's not just like standing on the streets and doing it sometimes they do rescue sometimes they go to colleges and universities and talk about it sometimes they talk about it online for me i take photographs of these and showcase okay this is obvious they are going through see i'm not trying to shove it in your face it's like i have an instagram page up to you if you want to see it if you do not you can unfollow not the end of the day but i document those things i talk to people this is my style of course but many pe- different people have different ways of doing so agasta what do you do for a living i write software <laughs> interesting okay what about you i'm a copywriter i write oh neat yeah so i actually work at an ad agency okay somewhere close by Uh, yeah, at uh, MG Road. I'm in Trinity. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually from Bombay. I shifted to Bangalore. First. Okay. So uh, it was really nice meeting you, man. I wish you Chalo. all the best. Thank you. And I, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna change the way I live, but the way you spoke to me, it's definitely gonna make me think it might. But see, the, the, there's there's that difference that you got, right? Yeah. I'm saying I might change. Yeah. yeah. If this would have happened anywhere else, I wouldn't even have given that might. I would have just been like, "This is not happening. I can never be legal." Uh, the comedian that you mentioned, can you remind me the name? Daniel Sloss. Daniel Sloss. Sloss. He has a Netflix uh, uh, show. I don't use Netflix, but I'll try to find yeah. if I can. Mm-hmm. But all of those points. Do you think I made those points? Yeah. I think even he made the points, but I don't think they might have been convincing enough. But now at least you have something to think about. Yep. Definitely. All right. Chalo nice then. Meeting you guys, sir. I'll All see you some best. other time in case if you cross by this road. Definitely. Good night. Bye.